Google Pixel, the device that tries to compete with both hardware and software with the likes of Apple, who support their devices for at least six years. But unlike Apple with most Pixel devices these days, you only get three to five years of software updates, and that's just the security patches. Anyway, after two years, your phone does not get most of the updates, like in this case, where I have the Pixel 2 XL stuck on June 2020 patch running Android 11. It is not super old, but does not have the latest patch. So in my ongoing series of revitalizing old phones, let's revitalize this Pixel 2 XL with Android 12. So here's a few things that you'll need for the process. A PC or a computer, and then your Pixel 2 XL of course, as well as a USB cable to connect them together. And a bunch of software on your PC to load up on your Pixel. You need to perform a few steps on the phone first though. Go to the About phone and tap the build number 10 times to unlock developer options. Find the developer options inside System Settings and enable USB Debugging and OEM Unlocking. Now connect your phone to PC and select Data Transfer Mode and move over to your PC. Download this batch script that will install ADB drivers on your PC without you having to do much. Now use the desktop shortcut to launch the command prompt and that will open a folder where we can move all the files required that we need for installing Android 12. We are going to be using Pixel Experience 12.0 beta, which is fairly stable and daily drivable. Now download the ROM itself as well as the recovery, both are linked in the description down below. Once downloaded, move them to the folder I showed earlier, like so. Now reboot your phone into fastboot mode by typing ADB reboot bootloader. Once you're at that screen, enter the following command. Fastboot space devices. You should be able to see your device code if you don't see it. You can run the batch file that I showed you earlier that will install the fastboot drivers that are compatible with your device. Then type fastboot flashing unlock. Now follow these prompts on the phone to unlock the bootloader and it will factory reset your phone. So make sure you back up all your data before doing this step. And that is a general guideline for installing any custom ROM on your phone. Now, no, no need to sign in, just skip all the visit stuff and go straight to build number, developer options, enable USB debugging again, and switch off the device and press an old volume down and then go bootloader, fast boot mode. Make sure the device is still plugged in. Now enter. Now enter fast boot, flash boot, then recovery image. You can press F2 on the file and copy the file name so it's easier to type on the command prompt. Now your phone should boot into this recovery mode. Now select factory reset in the recovery using volume buttons and power button to select. Now return to the main menu, click on apply update. Then apply update from ADB. Now back to your PC, in the ADB space, sideload space, pixel experience, whatever version. Copy it using F2 and paste it. Press enter and wait for the process to finish. Once done, click on reboot system now and then welcome to Android 12. It's unbelievable that it runs so smoothly on such old hardware and great hardware. Also to add to this, this ROM will be supported for quite a while by Pixel Experience. So you'll be able to get software updates straight from the system settings like you would normally do on a Pixel. Which device do you want to see next? I'm thinking the POCO X2 by Xiaomi, maybe Nexus 5X if people still have it. Let me know down in the comments below. Anyway guys, smash that like button if you found this video helpful. Consider subscribing and dinging that notification bell just down there. And uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.